to go through some of them that I wear, some of them that I got and I don't wear, and all those kind of things. So, these first ones are my wedding shoes, actually. Um, I needed, obviously, flats, and my wedding color was purple, so I have those. Those are my black flats that I've had and replaced over and over again for a long time. Uh, they're, a lot of my shoes are from Old Navy or uh, Payless. Or Target, I guess. Uh, my runners from Target. These are from Target. That They have like the fur on the inside. Um, I got them and I've only worn them once. <laughs> uh, these are some like right up to the knee boots. Uh, they're really cute, but super duper uncomfortable. Then I have these ones, like the typical black to the knee boots, flat boots. I've worn those all the time last year. And then these are like those fake Ugg. I don't even know what brand this is, but they're really, really comfortable, obviously. Then we have my flip-flops. I never wear. These I actually got recently, uh, and I sometimes wear, but these are really uncomfortable. I don't even know why I ever got those. Got these in Payless, love them, super duper comfortable. Um, it's just a nice dressy sandal. And then of course the Old Navy. These ones, as you can see, there's like some dust on this one. I've worn these more. <clears throat> and then my high heel collection. Uh, these ones are really sexy, as you can see. Um, but if you look on the bottom, I've only worn them... Actually, I've never worn them out, so I guess you can kind of guess what these are for. <laughs> no, but seriously, they're really cute, but really uncomfortable because they don't have, like, a big, thick sole on the bottom. They are, like, you're using a lot of, like, the ball of your foot, so I've only, like, I tried to wear them once out, but I had to end up taking them off. Then these, I wore these for Evan's, uh... Um, wrap party. They're really comfortable, but I should have worn something that prevented them from slipping because I was really, my toes kept slipping. It was really hot and I was pregnant, so I was really uncomfortable in these. But with that added thing, I probably would have had a an okay time wearing them. These ones, <laughs> again, I've worn them once on my birthday, and they were really uncomfortable. These are a size 11. Um, I actually debated on selling these because they're super high and my feet are kind of wide so uh, without a stretcher which I gave a stretcher to someone when I moved back home or when I left back home and uh, they still have it so I don't have my stretchers anymore so I wasn't really able to wear these comfortably um, and like I said they were really uncomfortable but I've heard good things about them but minus the fact that they're like what four inches high I mean I'm six foot so you can imagine how tall I am in them and then these ones are ugly as hell. I hate these, like, old lady shoes. But these are my other black ones, and I just have them because they're shorter in case, you know. But as you can see, I barely ever wear them. So, that is my collection. I don't really wear, you know, fancy shoes. Obviously, the boots are worn in the wintertime. These are what I wear during the summer and part of the fall and the spring. So, I really just don't wear a lot of stuff. Um, if I'm going to go out somewhere fancy and even wear a dress, I will most likely wear flats because my husband is about an inch shorter than me. Um, not that I really care about being taller, but I figure, like, what's the point of being in pain? Um, and the ones that I do have, besides these ones, cause me a lot of pain. And it's weird because I don't like low heels because my feet are so big, I feel like they make my feet look even bigger. So I feel like the higher I get them, the smaller my feet look. I know it's crazy, but that's it. So yeah, so that's it for my shoe collection. Hope you guys have a good day.